Now, University of Cincinnati archaeologists are the talk of the art world. They're releasing details of items that were found in a 3,500-year-old tomb believed to belong to a Greek warrior. Wow, well, new this morning, Nana, your side, Lisa Smith, the first local reporter to speak with them on camera about this spectacular discovery. This wasn't the original site UC archaeologists wanted for their dig in Greece two years ago, but a text message changed that. She said, uh, you better come quick, we have bronze. Soon they learned it was more than bronze, there was gold too. Gold rings are really, really rare. They are extremely rare. I want to show you some of this to stop it because it just goes for about two or two seconds and blips off of it. And I wish the UC Greek discovery wasn't in front of it. This is the most intricate one here where it shows the little leaves and everything. These are as fine as a human hair. Incredible craftsmanship. Right behind this is another scene. The bull and its depth that it has carved into it. Just some gorgeous work. Let's see what else they say. Rare in the Aegean, right? No, there were four gold rings. Professor Jack Davis and his wife Sharon Soccer are leading the project to reveal thousands of objects caked in dirt and limestone, along with the remains. Rubies this is everywhere. Facial reconstruction. They believe he dates back to 1500 BC. Somewhere around 1500 BC is the estimate on it, but. Uh, They've done a facial re reconstruction off of him, of somebody, but they haven't genetically had him tested to see if he had brown eyes or, you know, blue eyes, green eyes, whatever, and, uh, and or uh, if his hair was maybe red or blonde or brown or dark or brown like this or even black. They're not sure, but the facial reconstruction, so something like this, it looks remarkably like a friend in high school that I had. But uh, let's continue. They've named him the Griffin Warrior. Did he come to Pylos from the island of Crete, or is he a local? Meanwhile, one of the findings is causing a stir in the art world. It shows it. This is his impression that he would use uh, to press into clay to designate himself. Uh, uh, and it's a, a relief cut into stone that whenever you press it makes a embossed picture something that dates all the way back to the Sumerians where they had the rolling ones where they roll out a whole thing and this is more of like a ring thing like you hear about the ancient kings would take their ring and stick it on the uh, stamp and seals and it was generally a seal like this but the intricacy of this and each little hair and everything now they're going to show you this it's going to turn into it but the intricacy of this is incredible in the in the picture and stuff that's showing so the reason they know that he's a Greek warrior is because he identifies him as such and also of having fought in this war or he is one of these type of people uh, in, in, in a battle um, and also he protected these people so very interesting let's look at the reconstruction here intricate level of Greek artistry during the Bronze Age is a seal stone used as a stamp of identity some of the now it's a stamp of identity, but the intricacy in this and the depth and the 3D-ness of it is incredible. And they found a few hundred of these. This is going to go in the top 10 for sure, if not sitting right up near, you know, the top of the rung of them. I've seen a few of these over time. The fact that this is all made out of ovoid, and if you look, it's actually carved out of something that looks kind of like geode. Uh, it's kind of a rainbow geode, too. This man was not just your regular everyday citizen and of course through his burial you can tell that I mean a man that has four rings whenever even to see somebody with one is pretty rare is quite the thing let's continue details that are represented here are as small as a tenth of a millimeter so we're talking about the size of a hair in your head this office still has plenty of work to do with more than 3,000 items found in the Griffin Warrior site many of them have yet to be revealed we have we think a near complete suit of armor wow. that would have been worn by the Griffin warrior, but it's but it's in hundreds of pieces. At least now the story here is that uh, if you look in this shot, there's a ruby right there. It's about the size of a golf ball. Yeah, sure enough. And there's the other stones that are over here. I don't know for a fact that's a ruby. It just looks like one. There's gemstones there. There's gemstones here. Gemstones up here. There's a, a lot to be had in here and stuff. There's a gold ring band bracelet right there. 
can see it embedded in there it's hooked around basically I'm pointing right at the middle of it now if you can see that good on the shot it looks like you can you can bet I'll be on top of this and I want to see the first showing of it although they say it may take them a year or two to get it all cleaned up and refurbished and then set into an exhibit and uh, it is of course owned by Greece but it'll be on exhibit somewhere and where it is I'll get some footage of it and let you know more about it and uh, attach it to this video too like share and subscribe guys y'all have a great day